You know, the problem with this predictions in brief um, idea, uh, which was basically to have a, um, a predictions video for sort of smaller fights going on through the week, is that firstly, um, I don't really know enough of the people on the card to make it worth it. Secondly, there are thousands of cards and I don't know which to choose to have and which not to choose to have. So what I'm doing now is the predictions in brief will be major cards that are not WEC or UFC um, and I will give my sort of predictions on them. So, for example, Dream would be in it. Um, uh, Belata will be in it, you know, um, and Strike Force will be in it, that sort of uh, level. Um, then it might be a little bit more worth my while doing and a little bit more worth your while watching. So we'll begin uh, with Strike Force. Um, they are held, holding an event um, at the Nokia Theatre in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, that's in California. Um, the date, I'm not so sure on, where are we? June the 16th, Wednesday, June the 16th. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, card. Got a main card and you've got um, a preliminary card. Preliminary card first. There's only two fights on it that I can find. Uh, R. J. Clifford versus Jeremy Umfries, and Marcus Cowell versus Hugo Sandoval. I know neither of those. Um, if I had to go with any, um, I would go for Jeremy Umfries because he's got a funny name, and Marcus Cowell. I don't know why the name rings a bell. So there we are. Uh, like I say, don't know anything about them, um, so there we are. The main card, a little bit different. Uh, Connor Hewan versus KJ Noons. Um, not sure that Connor Hewan was supposed to be the first person fighting there, but anyway, um, KJ Noons, I'm definitely going for him. Um, I believe he's sort of a uh, longer record, better fighters, better better calibre of people having fought. Um, but I just actually, I, I do actually like him. Um, so uh, I'm going to go for him there. Uh, Tim Kennedy versus Trevor Prangley. I'm going for Trevor Prangley on that. Um, couldn't really tell you why, just an inkling I've got. Uh, Evangelista Santos and Marius Zara Zaramovskis. Do you know, I think uh, Marius is probably going to win this one. Um, he's a little bit better, I think, than uh, Evangelista Santos, but... I know uh, Santos from having watched um, uh, a lot of Cage Rage, um, you know, several years ago, which is where he sort of started, or at least where he's been. Um, you know, I still think Marius will probably win, uh, probably win on their feet as well. But, um, you know, part of me hopes that Santos actually gets the better. I don't know. Um, and, and the main event here... It's actually at catch weight um, for two people who are contenders each in their own divisions. The catch weight is £195. And you've got Renato Sobral, uh, best known for having been dumped uh, unceremoniously by the UFC after holding on a choke for far too long. Uh, and Robbie Lawler, um, best known for uh, being from the hit squad, um, I have met him uh, several times, in fact. I met him in this country at UFC 85, and I met him um, at the Hit Squad gym when I visited them uh, last year. Um, I'm going for Robbie Lawler on this, and that's not just uh, because I like him, know him, and hope he wins. Um, it's actually because I think he's better. Um, he's certainly better, I would say, on the feet. I don't know so much about the ground, uh, but definitely on the feet. You only needed to see his, his last match against what's, man, what's his name, whose name I forget, but anyway, um, who he dramatically came uh, and and beat. Um, I'm, I'm certainly going for, for Robbie Lawler on this, so um, I hope that he, he gets the better and he wins there. And then I hope he goes on to challenge um, for the uh, title in his own division. 
uh, which they implied, the management implied, would happen to either of them where they were, well, to whichever one wins, um, they would then become the top contender in their own division. Also going on uh, this week is the Belater 22 event. That's happening on Thursday, uh, July, uh, June, uh, July, <laughs> not quite, uh, June the 17th. Um, that's at, uh, where are we? Kansas City Power and Light District, wherever that is. So there we are. Um, here's their fight card. Um, we've got, I'll go through the, the undercard first. Uh, Leonardo Picana versus Tyler Stinson. Uh, don't know either of them. Brian Green versus Rudy Bears. <laughs> you know, there's some funny names around. Um, Jared Downing versus Chad Vandenberg. I'm going for Vandenberg on that. Um, whose name does ring a, ring a bell. Quite a large bell, but I'm not quite sure why. Uh, and John Orr versus Cole Conrad, who I don't know. Uh, the main card, we've got Stephanie Frausto versus Lisa Ward. Don't know those. Josie Vega versus Jared Card. Don't think I know either of those. Uh, the main event is Ben Askren versus Dan Hornbuckle. And I'm going for Dan Hornbuckle on this one. Um, I hope he gets the win there. That's not, I don't think, a solid... Um, a solid uh, given I think that that match is quite um, you know okay so Hornbuckle has a huge uh, record you know his is 21 and, and 2 um, according to this anyway uh, and Ben Askren only has a 5 perfect record of 5 but I mm, I think that uh, Ben Askren has quite a lot of fight in him I'm going to go for Dan Hornbuckle I am going to go for Dan Hornbuckle though so, uh, so there we are also uh, this week, again on June the uh, 19th, I think that's Saturday, yes, next Saturday, um, the Wisconsin uh, Fighting Championships, which seems to uh, move around quite substantially, um, is hosting uh, something. The gym is the De Leon's Martial Arts Centre, and that's in uh, Burlington. So they've got a, a little event going on there. No details as to what exactly um, that entails uh, from the website, but it's going on there. So best wishes to everybody who's competing there as well. Finally, uh, shout outs for this week. Um, I want to wish uh, well to everybody who's taking part in uh, Desert Quest, which is going on uh, this week as well. This is... Um, Next Saturday, in fact, on June the 19th, I think it's 49. Yes, Desert Quest number 49. It's not, strictly speaking, mixed martial arts. I believe it's uh, jiu-jitsu, submission, grappling, um, and the like. So it's mainly ground sports. Um, and that's going on uh, this next week, Saturday, June the 19th. Somewhere in Arizona, but I haven't quite managed to find out where. 